So uh, today I'm gonna show you how you can record from your old iPhone to a memory card or to external drive. So uh, how are we gonna do it? Uh, first, we're gonna need something like this one, a dongle. Uh, either is OTG or uh, you go for the Apple one, it will cost you uh, 49 or uh, almost 50 pounds, something like that. So it's on Apple website, don't go there, you can, is, you can transfer your data with it. I'll, I'll add the name of it on the screen anyway. So good. So that that's, is the same, either is memory card or is external drive, it's the same process, it's the same process, same process. So what you're gonna need as well is First of all, your iPhone has to be supported by iOS 17. If your iPhone is not supported in, uh, with, uh, if you cannot uh, install iOS 17 on your phone, it's not going to work, I'm afraid. Even what we're gonna do, even the application that we're gonna use, actually require you to be on iOS 17. So any phone that is not on iOS 17, I'm afraid you won't be able to do it, sorry. So you're gonna need the Blackmagic app first. So first, your phone has to be on iOS 17. Good. Second, you need a Blackmagic app. So once you download the Blackmagic app on the iPhone, good. You need one of the dongle like this. OTG, something that can read your memory or, but the thing what I noticed, I try other brand, Apple has been Apple. So maybe go for the right Apple one. Good. It's the same process, SSD card. Uh, memory card. So I have my memory card with the memory reader. So once you download the app, let's plug it into it. Plug our uh, memory card. It's, it's the same process. Same process, uh, you do the same thing. So we need a power source. I plug it. So I just have plugged my battery to it. Uh, my power bank, sorry. So my power bank is on. So we need. For this one, you need a power source to be able to. A lot of them, you need power source. Some you don't, but the Apple one, you need the Apple, you need a power source to read it. So then once you get to the uh, apps, you need to go to the, uh, what do you call the Blackmagic app? Okay, also I had to clear something up. You cannot record from your phone, like you cannot record on the native app. Sorry, you cannot record from the native app. That's one of the downside of it. It's not like on like iPhone 15 Pro Max, you can record straight from your uh, native app to external drive. Here you cannot do that. So that's the only caveat. We can still do the same thing anyway. So all you need the Blackmagic app. Once you download the Blackmagic app, you go to the Blackmagic app and then we start a process. So also you had to be the, what do you call the H, uh, the, the, the codec. So it depends the iPhone you are using, the codec is different, the options are different, but the one that worked for me, I'm using for this uh, tutorial, I'm using I, uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max. So I have ProRes and all those things, but the one that worked for me all the time is the H265 and the H264. Those are the two codecs that actually work for me perfectly. But if I'm recording it, to, to just if I want to keep on my phone without a memory card or the external drive, I can record it to 4.2 HQ and ProRes on all it will work perfectly. But if I try to record it from my from the app directly to external drive or memory card, none, none of them work. It's just the H265 and 264 that work perfectly for me on iOS, on iPhone 13 Pro Max. Okay, good. People who are iPhone 15 Pro Max, we are not talking to iPhone uh, 15 owners. It's old iPhone, so we are talking about old iPhone. So once you get there, you pick the H265. Also, depend on the iPhone you're using, the options are different. So you try for yourself and pick the right code for you to work, and then you can let me know. Anyway, so once you go there, you pick the right uh, codec, then you go to media. Once you go to media, what we're going to do in media is to go to save to clip. So save to a clip, we're gonna go on our, we're gonna pick our, uh, what do you call it, SSD card, or SSD card, or memory, so it's there. So we go into it, we pick that, let's say create a new folder to it, a new folder, let's call it uh, black, blackhead, or black magic. <laughs> black magic, <laughs> black magic, so something like that. So black magic, and then from there, 
we open it then you go back so now uh, when you're gonna recover from your phone it to go to straight to the external drive so for example for instance let's say I'm recording this uh, uh, SSD uh, card or something like that. anyway access drive or whatever it is so that's that's how I record it pull a and go then you go back go to your now from there is saved into your it, some will be saved on your app on the black magic app but it will go to your uh, file as uh, it will go straight to your file as well so you go to your file you, you see your what well, you just black magic and you can see our video is actually there playing so so good so you can so that that's that's the whole video so if you have uh old iphone that support ios 17 you can actually record from uh, from this app, Blackmagic app, to your to external drive or to a memory card. Also, I have to make something clear. When you are doing it, make sure that the memory card you are using is, is a fast reading memory card. It cannot support, it doesn't support, because if the memory is not fast enough, it's not going to work properly for you. So get, uh, uh, you know, a SSD card that is fast enough compatible with iPhone as well you have to put that in mind I'll put all the link of everything I use here I'm using crucial I'm using a memory card the one Samsung I'm using EV EVO uh, all the things that work work with this kind of thing I'll put in the bio so people can go and get this thing and try for themselves and work uh, if you have a Samsung T7 all those things will work fine so it's up to you to try so please try it and then how it is for you and then let me know in the comment so i hope you find this video useful and you try for yourself and then if you work for you let me know in the comment thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one